Previously on Lunar Lux, Bella encountered a Kronos boss merc, which tried to communicate with her. After its boss fight, it gave its life to protect Bella from a bunch of other mercs. But that didn't stop Bella from killing its EX version for experience points. The Lunex space station is huge, so make sure you know your way around. The re research lab is on floor 3F. It's in the west corridor. Heh, <laughs> let's go. The warrior type vessel. The vessels are du dual powered by anti cores and electricity. When filled with anti cores, they are capable of withstanding large quantities of antimatter and battle. This makes them an ideal weapon for fighting against the mercs. Can we, do we actually get to use these at all? I came to LSS to service my vessel, but it turns out they only do hovercraft and spaceship service here. Apparently, vessel servicing is done at the military base in Grimaldi. Linux Space Station, East Dock. I'm a little nervous about not being able to go back to Regolithia right now. Hopefully I don't regret it. So Linux Force Missions Board. A special species that is capable of surviving in zero gravity. It requires no water and the flowers that are blooming will eventually bear delicious fruit. It has been dubbed the Space Tree. The pink and purple variations bear the sweetest fruit. What were the green ones? Astrotech? You'll meet all sorts of people out here at the Linux Space Station. We've got scientists, chefs, engineers, musicians, artists, you name it. Switches and buttons on the wall. It's probably best not to mess with any settings. Who is the essential fuel for the body? Make sure to eat while well here at Lunex Cafe. News articles are scrolling on the display. Merkinson's new invention, Citizen Complaints Food Shortages. There's no end. It's a Metil and a Kame plushie. The spooky plushie is called Axel. The display is sh showing the station directory. The LSS is comprised of three main levels. One, a first floor cafe and lobby. Second floor shopping center. Third floor research facility. Bella, welcome back to the space station. Hey Stella, any new missions lately? A few, but we've got other squads assigning them already. You should rest up on your day off. It's so hard to get you to take a break from your warrior duties. I know, I just can't help it. <laughs> oh wow, do you get new plushies? These are so cute. Oh yeah, I ordered some online and it turns out they accidentally sent me two of each. I can give you the extras if you like. I'll have someone else, someone deliver them to your room. Yes, I can never say no to cute plushies. Thank you. Heh. <laughs> Are they going to be usable in any way? No new missions available this time. I'll let you know if something comes up. These benches are designed for maximum comfort. Apparently they have massage features built in as well. There's a tag here that says no other competitors provide this all of comfort. Our bench power is maximum. Welcome to the Linux Space Station. Linux is actually short for Lunar Expedition. It's a multi-purpose display. In this trash bin, just junk. Nothing new here, huh? Every trash bin seems to have a psychic connection. So doing one conversation, it will act like you did it up for all the others. 7 bytes. 75 bytes. Not much. Before your father perfected the gravity generator, this cafe used to be covered in Velcro everywhere. The Velcro is used to keep things from flowing away, including food. Bread used to be banned because the crumbs would get in people's eyes. This display is showing the many different space diets and recipes. Oh wait, they installed a new food machine. Now it's called F... O O D V three. I liked it better when it was called Yummy Five Thousand. Me too. What does the F O O D acronym even stand for? I have no idea. At least it can make a thousand new dishes. Hmm, I could go for some spicy curry right now. Up in space, our tongues don't make enough saliva for our taste buds to work as well as they would on Luna. Plus, spicy food is very popular at the Lunix space station. Sells. Lunex brand merchandise, not food. Even though it says snacks on it. Hmm. Vitamin supplements. The workers here are required to take vitamin supplements in order to keep bones, teeth, and muscles healthy. Oh man, I've been holding it in for so long. There's other available restrooms in the space station. No, it must be this one. I won't give up. I've already waited so long. I may as well wait a bit longer. Okay, I found this code on Twitter. Let's see it. Booby. Password accepted. Congratulations, please accept this prize. Soul Saver? The heck is a Soul Saver? Raise your level by one. Obviously, I use that at the end of the game when all the experience requirements are extremely high. It's like a rare candy, huh? 
Destination floor. We're on floor one right now, so let's go to floor two. See if I can prepare myself. Good, a save point in case I regret my purchases. Hi, I'm Brittany. Thanks for just stopping by. I've got a bunch of useful goods you can trade for Astrotech. We've got ship parts available for purchase as well. The parts are a bit pricey, but super worth it. What do you have? Hit point booster. Wow, that's a lot. I I need a grind. Actually, no. Would it be better to save this for after I get more affinity? Or should I just spend it right now? If I could just grind, that would be... I, I just get, probably get it right now, but... Hmm. We're on security duty right now. It's actually a very easy job. The LSS is one of the safest places to work at. There's hardly any crimes or concerning issues to worry about while on board. While on patrol. Hmm. Hi there, my name is Alex. I'm the merchant here at the LSS. We've got a sale going on right now. The other shopkeepers here are actually my sisters. We used to go on spy missions together, and now we're pursuing new myth passions. Hmm. More things that I could get, but I want to... I'm guessing, this, yeah, the Soul Saver is a one-time thing too, isn't it? Hmm. Dang it, I need to get my affinity up. But I also have to be worried about advancing the story. Otherwise, I might lose my chance to buy to power myself up before the big boss fights. Hey, Bella, thanks for being part of my jet suit marketing program. Here, I've got a new jet suit for you to fly around in. Stellar jet suit obtained. I'm on a never ending quest to create the best jet suit styles on Luna. I can't do anything else. Hmm. Canned bananas. Why? There is a neural link I really want to buy, but my level isn't high enough. You can learn so many new battle techniques using neural links, but without a properly trained body, you could end up hurting yourself. That's why it's important to train your body by leveling up. I should have grinded more. Hey, I'm Sam. Nice to meet you. I sell neural links. You can buy new support skills, active skills, and skill boosters. My sisters and I have shops set up all across Luna. Almost every shop has something unique to offer. Come check us out. Woohoo, what do you want us to get? Support skill reflex, 10% chance for an enemy attack to miss. That sounds like a worse version of the invisible one. Bite boost, 150 more bites at the end of battle. Skill booster, level up active skill. Active skill laser barrage. Drone spire laser plus bonus damage, but very high cost. Level 10 required. And I'm only level 9, I think. That's not good. I just bought the reflex support skill. A 10% chance for an enemy attack to miss is pretty low odds. I'm gonna have to upgrade it with my skill points to get better use out of it. I think Reflex level 5 is a 50% chance for an enemy attack to miss. That's pretty good, considering it, it's a blue support skill. It can help you out if you're in a pinch. It also opens up your options to try out different red support skills. There's so many ways to customize your skill pool. Oh man, I finally saved up enough to get the Laser Barrage Active skill. It was super worth it. Lasers are so cool. Lasers, are, lasers go pew pew. Research facility. A quest? If I do that quest, I could get uh, I could get some discounts. B the BBS? Maybe something's new? Wait, oh, I see. It has a different uh, list from the uh, the one on, in Regolithia. Emmett, Stargazers Club. Greetings, fellow Stargazers. Emmett here, ready to give you the hottest stargazing locations. Grab your binoculars and set your coordinates for Taicho. Those shooting stars will pa pass by in the blink of an eye. Am I the jerk, Chad? So my girlfriend and I went on a date the other day. This post is like 17 paragraphs long. You decided not to read it. Moderator. Hey Chad, these kinds of posts don't belong in the Linux BBS. There are sub-BBSs for these kinds of things. Please refrain from dumping your relationship drama on here. Thanks. Has anyone noticed just how much milk costs these days? It's outrageous. It's not just milk. Kepler Ranch has been experiencing food production issues due to the Mercs. I mean, we were struggling to keep up with the food demand before the mercs showed up, but now it's even harder. Cecile, mysterious voice. I was walking towards the mission control room on floor 3F1. I suddenly heard a faint voice. The voice sounded strange and glitchy. I tried to look around to see where the voice came from, but no luck. Oh, is something wrong with the BBS? I usually see hundreds of posts on here every day. The scientists apparently overloaded the server with their research ideas. Oh well. There are BBS boards in Copernicus, Taicho, and Colony Silica as well. We can check them out when we get the chance, heh. 
Display is showing a bunch of upcoming deadlines and project milestones. Looks like some teams are behind schedule. Deadlines are stressful. Displays are scrolling through the various products that were created here. HUD, the ultimate coffee machine de de designed by Dr. Thomas. This machine will make you the perfect cup of coffee without you lifting a finger. All you need to do is say coffee please and the machine will make it for you. It can even make the finest espresso. This article was published last week. We need to have a coffee talk with Dad. The reason why we don't need an oxygen helmet out in the ship dock is because there's an atmospheric force field around the entire station. This atmospheric force field is called the Astro Barrier. It also protects us from random space debris, like small asteroids and rocks. For larger debris, we usually be afraid of some of our laser weapons. But if there was something even larger... Anyways, I gotta get back to work soon. We say mercs here, uh, here at the space station. Unfortunately, the samples we work with don't last very long. Mercs aren't made of matter like we are, so gathering data has been a very slow process. East Corridor, Residential Corridors. Oh man, why did this have to happen? Hey, Aura, what's the matter? Hey, oh, hey, Bella, I was just going on my daily walk around the space station after I got some delicious coffee from the Linux Cafe, and well, I was carrying a loose folder full of my beloved Lux Combo recipes, and I lost them all. This is terrible. I haven't memorized any of them. Hey, don't worry, Aura, we'll help you find your Lux Combo recipes. Really? Oh man, thanks so much for your help, Bella. How many recipes do we need to find? I need you to find seven Lux Combo recipes around the space station. Where, where exactly did you walk around today? I literally walked everywhere. It could have been fallen everywhere. Alright, it's okay. At least we know it's in the space station. Your coffee is going to get cold, so stay here for now. Thanks again, Bella. Willy! Oh, hey kiddo, watch where you're walking. I just cleaned the floors. You're getting purple dust all over the place. Oh, sorry, we'll be on our way for now. Is that purple dust antimatter? Purple dust. It's probably dust from the Phantom Realm. I need to wash my boots when I get the chance. I hope nobody else notices. Central area? Hmm. Showing a list of the tenants living in the space station. Many scientists and soldiers live in the Linux space station for free, since their jobs provide essential military and research services. Key card required to enter. Hmm. Peer through the window. You see the beautiful and shining Luna in front of you, surrounded by an asteroid belt. Beyond that, you see the volcanic Terra looming in the distance. Storage closet. Whoa. Shield booster. Okay, seven shields. Money. Lux combo recipe, Lux force. Huh. Isn't that just the basic default combo? Yeah. I don't know if it's even worth mastering, but maybe I'll find a decent punching bag enemy I can try it out on. Healing chambers. Spare oxygen tanks are mounted on the wall in case of an emergency. There's an advertisement here. Come down to the second floor shopping center and shop till you drop. This computer is used to reserve a healing pod. Hey there, don't mind me. I'm just waiting for the doctor to get back with my test results. Quick question. Do you ever have visions or dreams of what feels like past lives? Ancestors or things that could have been? I had a dream once where I had an important role in a big company. And every single person was a caveman. My great 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 granddad must have done something really bad. He got covered in concrete by his employees as punishment. Heart of the people, that's one vivid dream you had. Well at least right now you're living in the present and not doing whatever it was that you did in your dreams. Yeah anyways, thanks for taking the time to stop and chat with me. Take care. Such a weird conversation. Monitoring the vitals and health of the patients. Healing pod. M a modified sleeping pod of healing features. Many soldiers come here after long and grueling missions to rest and recover. Energy. Thomas and Fia's room. This door is locked. It's my room. Oh, maybe there's something useful in there. It's just trash. Some food and dessert coupons on the wall. Oh, one of the coupons has... Okay, I need to write that down, write that down. A giant Nintendo Switch? I can use this arcade machine to dive into network areas. What? I can replay them and get better time, so is there a... Is there a point to doing so? Is there a price for getting time sort of network dive? 
Basically a speedrun challenge. Bunch of things stuffed in your closet. You found a classic bunny suit. I think it still fits. Tetra, where, te where's your Halloween costume? <laughs> in the trash. I was a carrot. We came late and that's all they had left in the store. Okay, what do you want to dress up as this year? Hmm. This time I'll be the bunny and you'll be the carrot. Mwahaha! <laughs> Toys and our memorabilia. Hmm. Found your old yo-yo collection. Bunch of things and stuff in the closet. You found a book titled Best Sidekick Guide 101. Oh, that's, um... That's mine. I forgot I put it in here. Silly Tetra. There's a bunch of things and stuff in the closet. Found your favorite swimsuit. I feel like going to the beach now. Found some leggings and workout clothing. Oh, that reminds me. I need to make sure I do my daily push-ups and sit-ups. Found your Lunex Academy graduation certificate. You also found a first place cheesecake eating contest certificate. How does this loop? Under your clothes, there is a stash of cheesecake bars. I must resist the temptation. Are they expired? You found your black belt martial arts key. Nothing new in your closet. The music bot. Select which track you would like to play. Locks behind a story progress, huh? Yeah, that boss music is pretty addicting, isn't it? You have a pretty sophisticated PC that can run many programs at once. Your desktop background is a photo of the Gray family on Oceanus Beach. Dr. Thomas is carrying Fia in his arms and Fia is carrying a baby Bella. What the? East Corridor Residential Area. Containers likely contain research material used by the scientists. Restricted Area. I wonder what's back there. I lived here all my life and I still have no idea. Mom and Dad never let me into the restricted areas. Maybe they're doing some cool science stuff in there, heh. <laughs> or bad stuff. I, don't, I still don't know if we can trust <laughs> Dr. Thomas that easily. 10 Astrotech obtained. Just because he has the same name as Thomas Light. What? Was I supposed to do that? Someone knew. Uh, I'm copying that number down. Okay, copy that number down. What is this? I am, or I think I am. It's an old computer. It must have been lost back here for a very long time. Call me James King. What's with these numbers I have to copy down? Okay, please tell me I'm not crazy. I've been hearing a strange voice ever since we entered this room. Where are you? Show yourself. I'm right in front of you. Why do you keep... Um, are these numbers useful for anything or just there for flavor? Or just there to look... Uh, 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 or just there to... As some kind of address? Hell no. Come to think of it, didn't someone say they were hearing some kind of digital voice? James King? Inside a computer? That's not possible. Now I remember. It's all in hexadecimal too. My life's work was Cyber World Transmission. It worked and I entered the Cyber World. But I became trapped and forgotten. That's terrible. I need to get out. I need to be free. Why is that one only four hexadecimal characters? Something doesn't feel right, but I guess we should help. Tetra, can you dive into the Cyber World to help free James? Definitely, I'm on it. We like to enter a Cyber World. Okay. What? Fools! You're within my grasp! Huh? I have. It's a boss fight! Shoot! I will break your body! First, I'll break your body! Tetra, do you find James? And then your mind! I did, but it looks like soon you will learn to embrace madness like I have! This guy! He keeps interrupting me! Now, where is I? Looks like he's been infected by a virus. Is there a way to sl save him? My Tetra Buster should be able to neutralize the virus. I have to fight him. What? Alright, be careful. We got this Tetra. Alright, this boss battle is very difficult due to the fact that your vertical field of vision is very limited and therefore it's safer to stay on the side of the boss, but still, you don't want to get too close because of those projectiles. Always send them out in opposite directions and it can be difficult to dodge. Especially if you can't see them coming. 
Yeah, personally, I think that you, I think it'd be better if this entire mini game was zoomed out so that's easy, actually easy, possible to see more than a few feet ahead of you. Hell, even the horizontal range is kind of small compared to the enemy's total range. While your gun has very little range in comparison, it only takes like half of the vertical ra range of the screen. That's not very good. Yeah, it's, take quite a few tries even with all the buster and health upgrades that you can get from the f stage. Ah! Yeah, what, once you decide on the trajectory, it's hard to, too hard, it's too difficult to correct yourself because of how wide the attacks are. The only good news is that the boss's usage of the attack is random, so they might not always pick the best pattern for your position, but most, uh, some, uh, they, all they have to do is hit you enough times to uh, take out your finite life points in order to win. Meanwhile, it'll take you, like, hundreds of bullets to actually pull off a victory. And they can do collision damage. Oh, finally I beat that bastard. Please don't have a second form. I don't have a way to win. Oh my god, that was horrible. The fact that I don't have much field of vision is pretty bad. Even considering the, the health damage asymmetry between me and my opponent. Thank you for saving me, Bella. Ugh. I did better get a really good reward. That felt like a, a that felt way too hard. I apologize for attacking you earlier. I spent so much time in the cyber world. I lost myself in there. Please don't make the same mistake I did. Take care of yourself. There's no response. Wait, that, they didn't give me anything. What? What's the point of that? Hi, I'm science department lead chemist. And I'm on a research mission to create the ultimate healing fluid. If you're free, I could use some extra hands. What do you say? Ooh, I want help. What do you need? My current experiment requires one elixir and one revival fluid. Once you've obtained one each, bring them to me. Alright, you can count super chemists Tetra to get the job done. Where do I find them? Do you know the Merc database is constantly updated with new entries? When you spot an undiscovered Merc, you can assign the codename yourself. We knew that already. Yeah, we knew that already. Oh. Oh, we can go outside here, and there's a... Energy and a red spot that I can't use yet. Can't interact. Oh! Oh, that's lucky. Meow. Oh, it's Echo. Hi, cutie. Kitty cat. Meow meow. 300 AstroTech. Nice. And the Lux combo recipe Infinity Slash, I already have that. I'm a caretaker here at the LSS. My main duties include cleaning, performing repairs, and general maintenance. That's nice and all, but my favorite part of the job is being Echo the Space Cat. Never thought there was a cat out there that enjoys space as much as Echo. Nobody knows where Echo came from or who its owner is. She has a collar, but the owner contact name is Smudge. She just showed up one day in a spacesuit and the rest was history. Hey there, Bella. Hi, Richie. How's the music coming along? It's going pretty well. I've been thinking about going on a journey across Luna. I'm hoping it'll help inspire me to create some new tunes. Sounds fine, your music is amazing. Thanks, I have a song to send you. I'll transfer the music file over to your music bot account. Oh, thanks, Richie. If you see me or my crew traveling around Luna, come say hi. We'll let you download new tracks on your music bot for free. You can listen to the songs on any music bot out there. F 350 bytes. Yeah, I don't want to go to research lab yet. I'll search everywhere else and see if I can get more recipes. Is there anything useful in here? Fascinating. A couple months ago, we came across a unknown interstellar spacecraft that contained a golden record. It took us a while to decode the entire thing, but we discovered that the golden record originated from a galaxy that is 2.5 million light years away from us. The record contained images, music, sounds, and greetings from a planet called Earth. Not Terra. Earth and Terra are distinctly different. It took millions of years for this record to reach us. We do not know if their civilization is still around, but there's always hope. We're making efforts to communicate with the Earthlings as we speak. They'll definitely be happy to know that other intelligence is out there in the universe. Let's hope this g goes well. Must remain calm, must remain calm, must remain calm, must remain calm. Is she okay? She seems super stressed. Let's leave her alone. This computer is connected to a molecular scanner. It can determine the molecular composition of objects that are very far away. 
or sends the blue supergiant that is nearing the end of its life. What? That's scary. Oh, I didn't mean to frighten you. Don't worry. It still has about 7 million years for it to live out its fiery existence, before it explodes into oblivion. Sorry for the existential dread. When you say something your entire life, sometimes you wish you didn't know certain things. Ignorance is bliss. Splay is monitoring oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide levels on Luna. Splay is monitoring the conditions of the astral barrier niche sector. If a sector is breached, the surrounding sectors are locked down to help prevent further damage to the astro ecosystem. Aha, recipe! Let's combo recipe Hyper Buster. Let's combo recipe X Armor. Echo Barrage, my favorite so far. 4 2 2. Accepted. Congratulations, please accept. Free Hyper Energy? I guess I have no choice but to enter this room and to see if I can get anything. Okay. Let's hope I don't act activate the story. Chemistry Lab. Wait, I think I need that. Or not. Our brilliant blue sun is always a sight to behold. You can definitely get the best view up here in the space station, that's for sure. Or one downside is that the people living here have to take radiation medication. It's mainly to reduce the harmful effects of our blue sun on our bodies. Our universe is beautiful, but it's also dangerous. Bell Simulation Room. What? Lux Combo Recipe Electro Slash. The soldier seems hyper-focused on training. Yeah, I'll take this. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make my dreams come true. The soldier is dead. I'm on day 29 of my 30-day train nafon. Almost there. I'm so exhausted. Extra bell uniforms in case you forget yours. The uniforms have been designed to comfortably fit on anyone. Which of stun grenades are propped up on the shelf? These gun sabers are used during bell se training sessions. The blue saber is super rare. Can I, does that mean it's a, an upgrade to my current one? I don't know. There's a list of bell tips and advice from the top warriors here. One particular list item caught your eye. Upgrade chips. Upgrade chips are a special category of items that are expensive and rare to obtain. You can equip and unequip upgrade chips in your items menu. Upgrade chips such as the armor upgrade reduces all bell damage taken by 25. The tactics upgrade allows you to use two support skills per turn. Apparently there is only one Tactics Upgrade chip ever created, so it's super rare. Wow. I'm g guessing I'm going to have to do some crazy stuff to get that. Oh, a recipe. Let's come recipe Holo Hurricane. I'm in the Bell Simulation Room. How may I assist you? Info. My primary purpose is to provide warriors the opportunity to test out their new skills and Lux combos. If you can defeat me in Bell, you will also be rewarded with money and EXP. Welcome to Bell- Okay, never mind. Very well, have a splendid day. Botany Room. Two hundred bytes. I miss being able to go outside and experience nature. I have a passion for science and plants, which is why I love working here, but... I'm feeling a bit nostalgic for the days when my family and I lived in Kepler Ranch. Fresh air, beautiful trees and forests. It was a paradise. Report here that the details tells a spotted red plant that grew teeth like a piranha. Book here called 101 Space Recipes. Book here called Growing Food in Space. The Bonny team is responsible for the study of plant biology in space. Our research helps us grow better and more nutritious food. Looks like some plants are being grown in vials that simulate different conditions. Looks like this computer is used to monitor plant growth. Well, the Bonny team really likes to drink jasmine green tea, apparently. A new quest? You look like someone who appreciates the beauty of nature. I do, I love exploring it as well. Splendid, you've got a perfect resume, darling. You're hired, oh! Huh? I'm looking for an assistant to be help me with my botanical research. Merck's science have increased lately, so it's been difficult to do field work. Your task is to document and collect samples of free, dense, distinct plant species that can be found on Luna. Where are the species you're looking for? Oh, I didn't sign up for this. Don't worry, darling. This is a paid position. You'll be rewarded handsomely for your efforts. Did she just read my mind? Darling, your thoughts are written all over your face. I'm also really good at reading people. Oh ho! Now where was I? Ah uh, yes, free plant species. First, I'll need a sample of a lunar camellia. That's from M Regolithia. Yup. Oh ho ho. Second, I'll need a sample of night flokes. I believe night flokes grows in abundance in Copernicus. Oh ho. Lastly, I'll need a sample of Harmonia coral. They're native to a place called Harmonia Reef in Oceanus. Oh ho ho. 
Hurry on now, darling. You've got a lot of samples to collect. And a lot of information to remember. Oh, man. If you forget the details of your task, just ask. Don't be shy now, darling. Oh, ho. You found my Lux combo recipe. Thank you so much. You made my day, Bella. As thanks, I'd like you to have one of my personal favorite recipes. Lux combo recipe, Drone Fiesta. You can view your Lux combo recipes in your codex menu. You're a great warrior, Bella. You should try out Lux combos. Once you fill your Lux meter and bell, you can stack free skills together and unleash this Lux combo. Your Lux meter fills up every time you strike the enemy or shield and attack. Lux combos are more powerful than, than if you use three skills individually. Stacking three of the same skills usually results in a unique Lux combo. You should try out different combinations. Battle. Balmo engaged. What's your gimmick? Battlebot 500. Damn, he's strong. Invisible. Gun saber. What? So I have to sh- uh, That's a shield only move. Hmm. Gun saber. Plus 10 lux for blocking it, I guess. I'm not sure. Invisible again. Wait, it he made a healing sound when it touched me, even when I'm invisible. That means I don't want to block it, I, I guess? Whatever, I, it's time to... I can actually look up my combos right here, right now, huh? Hollow shield and t any sword-based skill, okay? Give me a bit of Lux. Oh, it actually got mastered. Even though I've only used it once ever, I think. Hmm. So Echo Barrage is, does so much more damage. Drone Fiesta I don't actually have the skill for yet, huh? Okay. Gun saber. Give me that Lux. Yeah, it's a good place to practice your combo since this battle bot is tanky enough to survive at least one. Me deluxe. Gun saber. Nice. Okay, that wasn't too hard. And I can actually grind here, grind using this guy too. Wait, he disappeared! I killed him! No! No! No, I thought you were going to be my eternal training buddy. Oh, you respond. Yes. There, there's an abandoned space station somewhere out in space. We were say the scientists there were attacked 300 years ago by an alien life form. Who knows what really happened? Hey there, I've got a few ship parts I like to sell. Check them out if you're interested. Movement the tiles are being charged. 
Their primary use is to help transport cargo and people from one location to the next. Broken jet pads, okay. We mix around spaceships and hovercrafts. I can tell you everything there is to know about them. For instance, every spaceship has three modular parts that you can customize. There's ship frame, ship wing, and ship thruster. Do you know you can customize the color of your spaceship? Being able to change the color of your spaceship will give it a fresh new feel. Once the world map warp, uh, map warp becomes available, you'll, all you have to do is interact with the world map, it warps, uh, map warp and select customize ship. Oh, now I have a 10% discount. Okay, bought all the upgrades in the shop since I actually had enough money anyways. I hope I made the right choice. I didn't buy all the ship parts though, because those seem cosmetic. Yeah, I'm better off just saving for power-ups. I don't know what ship parts actually do for me, other than cosmetics. Hi everyone. Oh, Bella, Tetra. Welcome back. I'm so happy to see you both of you. When I found out Sector 16's astral barrier was breached, I was super worried. Are you two alright? You look exhausted. We're okay, I'm just a little sore from fighting mercs. Actually, speaking of exhausted, you guys look like you haven't slept in days. Really? In that case, I know exactly what I need. More coffee. No! Empty! We're off Divine Elixir! Divine Elixir? It was salt juice last week. Oh, of course, coffees. Mm, yes. Oh, Nyla, only the top tier caffeine connoisseurs know of coffee's true de denomination. Divine Elixir. It's okay, I've got my mini brewer with me. It's a portable version of the ultimate coffee machine I invented. Heh. <laughs> Bella, what would you like? Ice vanilla latte, please. Tetra too. Tetra, you can't drink coffee. Oh, yeah. Alright, here, just the way you like it. Reeves, double shot? I, mean, I must surpass my limitations. Triple shot espresso, doctor. Oh, dang, I'm impressed. Soon you'll be able to handle the illustrious divine elixir. <laughs> Ny Nyla? No, thanks, I don't really have an appetite. Doctor, we've got to focus on the task at hand. One sec. Ah, oh, freshly brewed. One sip will set your soul free. My lux will skyrocket to astronomical levels. Ha ha. Thomas, you should really cut down the caffeine. This is your fourth cup today. <laughs> but coffee helps drive the gears of the doctor's brilliant mind. Some say it's the secret to his genius. <laughs> Alright, now it's time to get to serious. Bella, we have an emergency. What I am about to disclose must be kept confidential. If the people find out, it would cause mass panic and unease. Ellipses. Big Comet. Gah! No, what? We need to do something about this comet now. What do we do? What can I do to help? Tetra wants to help too. Wait, 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 calm down first. We must tackle this one step at a time. Comet Coda is composed of a rare form of antimatter we do not fully understand. It is extremely volatile and energy dense. Long ago, the people of Terra launched their most destructive weapons at the comet, out of desperation, and failed. The comet consumed everything in its path. While Tetra wanted to obliterate the comet with her plasma buster. What if we activate the astral barrier defense system? The ABDS works on smaller asteroids and space debris, but for something this large, the astral barrier wouldn't be able to withstand it. Our current weapon tech isn't advanced enough to deal with a comet of this magnitude. Despite this, there is still hope. What if we were to utilize our teleport technology? Mia? To teleport a comet? We can already transport people across the finite distance using teleporters. If we were to use that same concept, upscale it and make some adjustments and... This sounds familiar. I know where this is going, Thomas. You can't be serious. I am. The comet will be no match for us once we complete Celestia. No, it's too risky. The project was shut down by Fia for a reason. Nyla, I'm telling you, this is our best option. Mia? Reeves, do you know what they're talking about? Not a clue. It's likely a project they worked on before I joined the team. N Nyla, we must finish what we started. Although this path is dangerous, I believe it has the highest chance of success. Dad, what are you guys talking about? You'll see, Bella. Heh. <laughs> Nyla, I've already discussed my plan of sorrows. Do you approve? Yes, in fact, he's already making preparations for a mission. Alright, fine. Gosh, Thomas, you and your crazy plans. We aren't called mad scientists for nothing. Nyeh. <laughs> Reeves, you're the only one who calls us that. Mia. Listen, if we're going to revive this project, we better, we better do it right. No mistakes this time. With everyone's combined efforts, we will succeed and save humanity. All of you, please follow me. Should I be worried? Is there anything here I can grab? I still can't believe this is happening. It's all so sudden. 
Don't worry, Bella. We'll do our part to protect the people no matter what. In Ultimate Sidekick Tetra will unleash your fury upon Comet Coda and the Mercs. Oh, ha ha. God, Tetra, you're right. The people have put their trust in us. We can't let them down. Let's go catch up with Dad. Uh, do I regain control? Why is the screen darkening? Where is this? An elevator? Oh, no, we're, 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 we're sent here automatically. I've never been to this room before. Yeah, me neither. Very few individuals have authorized access here. Welcome to the Nexus Lab. This is where we store our top secret projects. Whoa, what's that machine? This is why I wanted to show all of you. Behold. This is Celestia, humanity's first wormhole machine. Meh heh heh. Spectacular, what a fine invention. So our plan is to stop Kamikoto with a wormhole. Precisely. Celestia will be humanity's next greatest scientific marvel. Is Celestia able to produce such a large wormhole? Theoretically, yes, but right now it can't. Celestia is still a prototype. We need some time to design this and finish building the machine. Time that is valuable and limited. How long do you expect the upgrade will take? A minimum of six months, maybe sooner if things go smoothly. We also need another resource for this plan to work. Antimatter? I assume this is why I asked Bella to be here. <laughs> I've been waiting patiently for my mission. Please let me know how I can help. Well, Celestia is powered by a very specific energy source that is required to sustain a massive wormhole. The universe's most powerful form of cosmic energy, antimatter. We will need antimatter and lots of it in order to fuel the creation of an astronomical wormhole. Right now, our only source of stable antimatter comes from the Mercs. That is correct. What? We'd have to slaughter thousands of Mercs. I... I don't... Bella, I understand your concerns, but this is a necess necessary action we must take in order to s ensure our survival. If Mom was still here, she would have found another way. There has to be another way. I don't agree with this. What? Oh, hey, it's Commander Vivia. Good afternoon, Dr. Thomas. If you're here, that must mean General Saros has arrived. He is here already. The legendary hero finally makes his appearance. Mia ha. With his strength and military might, we'll definitely get the anti-course we need in no time. Yo! Pardon me, I hope I'm not too late to the party. Vivian and I rushed here as soon as we could. It's good to see you all. Thomas, I assume everyone knows about the plan. Yeah, we've got almost everyone on board. Almost. Well, ah. Knowing Bella, I expected some resistance. Saros, it doesn't feel right to kill so many mercs. Let me ask you something, Bella. Do you wish to save humanity? I do. Then it is imp imperative we collect the anti -cores. Mercs are monsters. They are mere mindless creatures without a shred of humanity. They do not belong in our world. If there is anything the mercs are good for, it's their anti -cores. The development of Celestia started ten years ago. Your father, Nyla, and several Earth scientists were also part of the project. At the time, progress was slow. We had about seven successful wormhole tests and... Unfortunately, test number 8 was our last. Celestia suddenly malfunctioned and opened a violent, unstable wormhole. Anything pulled in was molecularly shredded upon entry. We lost four brilliant lives that day. Eventually, the project was shut down by your mother, the former general. She cared about every soul and couldn't bear to risk losing another valuable team member. Yeah, that's definitely something Mom would do. Despite the tragic history of this project, I believe we must finish it. If we are successful, our friend's steps would not be in vain. Those who were killed by the mercs would have would be avenged as well. Back then, we had little to no knowledge regarding the science of antimatter, but over the years we've learned and studied extensively. With the knowledge we have now, we should be able to minimize the risk of danger. This time we'll do things better. With our combined efforts, we can overcome the threat of the mercs and Kamakoda. Brilliant, I can't argue with that, Mia. Saros has a good point. Bella, as your fire, it pains me to send you out into danger, but you are strong. Indeed, you are one of our best warriors. Haha. <laughs> The look in your eyes says it all. Very well. We'll solve this with a duel. Wait, what? Can I save first? With what? Wait, what? A duel? Yes, prove to me the strength of your convictions. Hit me with your most powerful technique, a Lux combo. Strike me with everything you've got. If I win, you'll ensure the completion of this mission and you will follow all orders. And if I win, well, we'll see about that. What? That's not no promise at all. Can I save first? Bella, please be careful. General Saros is the strongest warrior in Luna. I got this. Sar Saros, I accept your challenge. The second story boss is already the strongest dude in the... in the... the in, in the, uh, on Luna? And guard! I already know about Lux combos, but still. Ch you, that's my win condition. Activate one Lux combo. 
In order to initiate a Lux combo, you must first max out your Lux meter. You're guaranteed a meter boost every time you use an active skill, and every time you successfully sh block an attack. Problem is, his patterns are going to be tough if he's a human. 5,000! Gunsaber! No damage, somehow? Apparently they have defense stats for enemies now. Oh, like crap! He almost got me. This guy's strong and fast. Sucker punch. I thought he was only doing project tiles, but suddenly he just rushed in for a melee. Gun saber. Blocking, is that worth it? Hell no. Voltage Gate? Gun saber. Can that work on you? Are you immune to it? Please don't not be immune. No! It worked! Yes, I live another day. Gun Saber! No! Defense Plus? What? What? Is this in prep? He's doing this in preparation of my Lux combo. Well, I'm gonna use Echo Slash. Echo Barrage. Nine hundred. I know I upgraded my Echo Slash, but I guess maybe my Lux skills get stronger if I upgrade the skills associated with them first. Yes. So that's why my Echo Barrage is doing so much damage. They must have adjusted the formula to account for individual skill upgrades too. I think that's enough. So, uh, I hit, I, I, I achieved my win condition despite you being tanky as hell. It would take me over, it would take me six Lux combos in order to kill this guy. Bella, are you okay? Are you hurt? Gah, he's too strong. I don't stand a chance. I didn't stand a chance. You didn't take any damage, though. And you took out, like, almost a fifth of his hit points, so I'd say you were, were technically winning, even if, he, even if the battle of attrition is not in your favor in the long run. You couldn't defeat me, but you've proven your resolve. I haven't had a fun duel like this in a long t while, huh? You definitely put your mother's training to good practice. Dang it. I don't want unnecessary bloodshed. Is that selfish of me to ask? Is there really no other way? Bella, how about you take some time to think about what you want to do? You're not going to force me to do the mission? No, like I said, you've proven your resolve. If you stay strong in your convictions, you can have the power to change the world. The choice is yours to make. You can walk the path with us, or you can forge your own path. In the meantime, as a general, I will do what I think is best for Luna. Vivia, let's increase the training regiments and recruit more able warriors. Yes, general. Only the best squads are to be informed of the Kamakoda. While Lunex Labs focuses on the wormhole machine, Lunex Force must prioritize the collection of anti-cores, increase combat training, and produce more vessels to fight against the mercs to save as many lives as we can. Yes, General Soros. Thomas, I trust you and your team to ensure Celestia is completed. Don't let me down. Now we got this, Sor Soros. I trust you and your soldiers will get me the anti-cores we need. Of course, huh. Sorry. Why must humanity always be burned with calamity? Perhaps this is the universe's cruel way of testing us. To see how far we've evolved as a species. We must evolve and overcome. Let's do our best, everyone. May our luck shine forever bright. Yes, General Soros. Vivia, let's go. That was supposed to be a Lux combo tutorial, even though Lux combo would be capable of beating the first, uh, beating Kronos pretty easily, huh? Bella, are you okay? There's a lot on my mind right now. Actually, I think that Lux at full power, uh, yeah, 900 damage would actually outright kill the first form of Kronos. I'm heading over to Oceanus. Want to come with me? Yes. Why are we going to Oceanus though? You'll see. Okie dokie. Let's go. I haven't done all the quests here yet. I should probably... Hmm... I'm nervous. But at least I def At least I managed to pass... I didn't actually get an S rank or anything. Hmm, I wonder what we're gonna be doing in Oceanus. Are we deserting? Are we gonna be like Akira quitting our job? Huh. He's all the way at the end. Defense plus. Armor up. 
So that means he takes less damage. Does that mean I would have done even more damage if he didn't get to use that in time? He uses it just in time for my Lux combo because he knows that even with his defenses, he would not be able... He, he wouldn't walk out of that one unscathed. Okay, anything I can grab here? Yeah, I didn't get to explore this room thoroughly before. Anti-core fluid. These are uses fuel sources for vessels and other antimatter weapons technology. These boxes contain freshly roasted coffee beans of the highest quality. A book here titled, How to Have a Proper Life Work Work Life Balance. A bunch of empty coffee cups are littered around the entire room. I wonder what coffee tastes like. Bitter, uh, bitter. Dad likes it black. Hmm, I wonder what bitter tastes like. Oh right, you can't taste. Nope, you can call me Terrible Taste Tester Tetra. Terrible test, uh, Taste Tetra. Did you do that on purpose? Do what? The tongue twisters. The alt alliteration. Oh, heh, maybe. It's Dr. Thomas's PC. Some folders on this desktop are titled Antimatter, Merc DNA, and Coffee Lovers. Many years of coffee spills has stained the desk to a brown color. Mom tried to get Dad to throw away this desk, but he refused to replace it. At least clean it up with a rag. Why? Too much sentimental value. He had his best ideas while working long nights of this at his desk. He also said the desk was coffee scented. Yuck! There's some books here written by Dr. Thomas. You take a book called The Power of Lux at the shelf, uh, off the shelf and start reading. Science has confirmed the existence of the soul, now known as Lux. In simple terms, Lux is a soul energy. Despite Lux being a relatively new field of research, we've made a few discoveries. Lux is strongly, uh, ties strongly to feelings, emotions, willpower, and instinct. Some individuals can have stronger Lux than others. My team has theorized that in rare cases, Lux can possibly be harnessed and manipulated. Could this have something to do with the strange feelings they've been having? I'll we'll need to talk to Dad about this eventually. There's a coffee on the antimatter fluid. This control panel creates in interactable hologram displays. It's used often during meetings to help visualize ideas and designs. Give me that Astrotech. Can I get any of that? F any of the quest items I need? This computer is monitoring antimatter fuel levels. It seems to be very low. The computer is monitoring the trajectory of the antimatter comet Coda. There are top secret files here labeled Dark Energy, Dark Matter, and Astrotechnics. Advanced supercomputer that monitors the wormhole machine. Mastered Energy. This is the prototype wormhole machine titled Celestia. The survival of humanity relies on the successful completion of this machine. When I got hired for this job, I never expected I'd be working on such a ter terrifying yet fascinating piece of tech such as Celestia. And I never expected we'd be dealing with a world-ending comet such as Coda. I know too well how dangerous it can be to fill with something so volatile, such as antimatter and wormholes. My husband, he was one of the scientists that died when Celestia malfunctioned. I'm so sorry for your loss, Miss Nyla. It's alright, dear. After years of therapy, I finally gained the courage to move on and accept the tragedy that occurred. But when I realized your father wanted to revive the project, I initially had doubts. I was afraid to lose another person I care about. But I think I should be approaching this with a more positive attitude. Cautious, but still positive. This time, I'll make sure we do things carefully and properly. With no room for error. Oh, nothing like a refreshing cup of coffee to keep the mind stimulated. Dad, your caffeine tolerance is so high because you consume so much of it. Maybe you should start drinking less coffee. I can't. I'll get astronomically painful headaches if I do. Withdrawal symptoms? I can't deal with that while I'm working on the wormhole machine. Alright, well, please take breaks once in a while, okay? That's what I'm doing right now, actually. My current routine is 23 hours of work and one hour for a coffee break. Heh. <laughs> what about sleep? What about food? Hey, I'm just messing with you too. Or maybe I'm not. I need to do what I can to protect my family and save humanity. Okay, so this is a quick travel to let me go to other places. Customize ship. Go to other places. Let's see. Regolithia. I wonder if there's anything I missed in Regolithia. Lunar Camellia. Oh, never mind. It's a 40-hour quest. Never mind. If I was a new quest. It's just for a flower-picking quest. There! Bill, we just saw a shooting star. That was pretty cool. I feel super lucky. Lucky event. The next item or currency you pick up will be multiplied by two. Through battle? Pick up your next item wisely. There's a total of five lucky events you can find. Keep an eye out for those shooting stars in the sky. 
doubled, but I don't understand how that works. I I'm assuming we don't get to double stuff like s uh, uh, stuff like permanent skill upgrades, but more like things like money and shit. Money and things that are generally infinitely farmable. Mostly for now, I may want to just reload and not use the lucky event up. Because apparently I can use them on shield boosters and health boosters. Even though I feel like by the end of the game we'll probably have more than enough shields to survive most things anyways. It's not like I need to use like 15 shields just to survive one attack, right? Right? Okay, I actually missed an item back in this storage area in the Regolithia. Turns out that S is a skill point capsule. It doesn't give much, but it's still better than nothing. So I don't know what that one quest was. This what this third quest, I don't know who gives it. Problem is there's no guide for this game, so I have no idea where that quest could possibly be. It's possible it's some all of these are just supposed to be based on which area they're in, and there's maybe something will pop up in Regolithia if I wait long enough, but I'm not sure. Alright, let's just land in Oceanus real quick. It seems is it a pure dungeon or is there there's no affinity? It's just a dungeon where I beat stuff up, I guess. Oh yeah, I looked it up in the Discord and the third quest is something that pops up later. I'm guessing I really do have to actually advance the story enough for it to appear, but it might be in Regolith either, either Regolithia or the space station, considering it's the it's listed as the third one. I'm guessing they're sorted by uh, by location rather than by uh, uh, rather than by the appearance in the story. Chronological appearance. And these rocks cannot be observed. Am I going to get attacked for walking out here? Yay, we're out at the beach. Want to go swimming? Swimming can take your mind off of things. Don't worry, I'm waterproof and... Uh, <laughs> we didn't come here to swim, Tetra. Aw. Sorry for being such a downer. It's okay, Bella. Tetra just wants to cheer you up, heh. <laughs> Oceanus is one of the most beautiful places on Luna. Mom, Dad, and I used to come here often for picnics. Dad would finally have some time off work to rest, and Mom and I would have our training sessions here on this beach. It was a simpler time back then. Uh, just being here after so long is refreshing. Bella, how come you never took me here? I guess things have gotten pretty busy after I became a Lunax warrior. Now with the comet looming over our heads, who knows if we'll have the opportunity to come back here again. I can't truly really relax knowing that Comet Coda is out there and we need to stop it. Soros gave me a chance to forge my own path. If we come up with our own solid plan, maybe you can change the general's mind. Hmm. We actually need a plan that works. Our problem is that we need an antimatter energy source to power Celestia. Right, which is why Soros wants to collect anti-cores. But, what if there were other ways to obtain antimatter? Like what? There's a whole world of antimatter out there that we can use. A whole world? You mean the Phantom Realm? Exactly. You've seen it with your own eyes, Tetra. We could do an expedition in the Phantom Realm to get the fuel we need, and we can pretty much enter there whenever we want thanks to the anti coronor possession. It will be dangerous if we go back there alone. We'll need a proper team. This also means I have to tell Dad about our trip to the Phantom Realm. He might be more convinced to let us go if he knows that we survived there once before. Are you sure you want to do this, Bella? Yeah, even if it gets us into trouble, I'm willing to try. Just take directly from the Phantom Realm, huh? Will it be that easy? At least we won't have to kill mercs this way. Uh, but the Phantom Realm is crawling with large merc mobs. Okay, let's go pitch our idea to Dr. Thomas. Hold on, I need to do something first. What? Why are you just letting it fall out to sea? If the Linux Force gets their hands on Kronos' anti-core, it'll just end up being used as an energy source. Kronos doesn't deserve a fate like that. The mercs may be monsters, but they have souls too. Kronos protected us, like any brave hero would. I guess this is my way of saying thanks. But what if someone just fishes it out? Someday. Come on, Tetra, let's go talk to Dad back at the space station. Alright, let's go. Yes, yeah, so what if a fish eats it and then g g mutates? Yeah, that looks like exa exactly what's going to happen. It's literally sinking to the bottom of the sea, ready to be eaten by something.
Will we get a giant shark that has the same powers as Kronos? What? What's going on here? Can we... Harmonia Reef ahead. Please keep our wires clean. We don't need to go there right now. Aw. Oh. I was wondering what... It seemed like a... Uh, uh, yeah, why were we... We just visit the entrance and then leave? That's it? Okay. Lux combo recipe, Electra Light Rush. Neural Link, okay. Active skill, Moonlight Dive. Skill points. Neural Link, no. Support skill, Astral Boost. Okay. Please only be one enemy, because multiples is just really obnoxious to fight. It's a single enemy. Stun you. Shields. Whoa! They actually use it. Oh crap, I can actually accidentally use a shield at the end of the enemy phase like that, even if they're not doing anything else. That was dumb of me. Whoa! It, it delayed itself a bit to, to fake me out. Good thing I managed to get that shield bone uh, uh, bonus, or that would have killed me for sure. Gun saber. Never underestimate a Lunex warrior. Okay, it's not as rewarding as refighting Kronos EX though. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Lunar Lux. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.